Welcome to the 123Net basic phone training. In this training, we'll be going over the basic phone functions of the Polycom phones, as well as briefly going over the cell phone application. In this image shows the layout of the Polycom business phone. Beginning at the top right with message waiting indicator, this light will blink red if you have a recent call that was missed, a voicemail, or some type of notification on the phone. Below that are your line keys. This is where you would assign a favorite or a speed dial. Your home button is the next button. This is where you would access uh, your main menu um, with things such as directory, recent calls, and other options of the phone. To navigate that menu, you would use the navigation disk below that, and to select any of those options, you would simply press the select key uh, in the middle of that navigation disk. If you wish to use a headset on the Polycom phones, you would press the headset button. It would actually light up when it's active, and you would hear dial tone in the headset. Below that is your speakerphone button. To initiate a call on speakerphone, you would press that. It would light up and initiate the call through the speakerphone on the phone itself. Below that is your mute key. If you're on a call and you wish to mute yourself so that the other caller cannot hear you, you will press that button and it will light up red. Your volume keys are next. When you're on a call, these buttons, when pressed, uh, will either turn the call up or uh, turn the call down. When you're not on a call and you press the volume buttons, it will adjust the uh, ringtone of your phone. So when someone calls into your phone and it rings, it will adjust that volume itself. Moving over to the hold button. When you're on a call and you wish to place a call on hold, you will press that hold button to initiate the hold feature. The caller will then hear the default hold music until you press that button again to resume the call. Above that is your messages button or your voicemail button. You will press this button on your phone to access your voicemail. Above that is your transfer button. When you're on a call and you wish to transfer uh, that specific call to another user, you will press that button to initiate the transfer feature itself and then follow the steps to uh, complete the transfer. Above that, you have soft keys. These are essentially physical buttons uh, pertaining to options on the screen while on a call, while not on a call. Um, you'll see these certain options uh, throughout uh, you know, different uh, methods of the phone itself. There are a few ways to place a call on the Polycom business phones. One way to place a call is to pick up the handset dial the desired phone number or extension number, and then press the green dial soft key on the screen. You can also place a call on speakerphone by pressing the speakerphone button on the phone, as well as selecting a user from the company directory within the main menu. And to end the call, you would essentially hang up the handset, press the speakerphone button, or however you place the call uh, initially. When you receive a call, the image depicts what that will look like. You have several options here to select from on an incoming call. You can either answer it, reject it, forward the call, or other options within the more selection there. To answer a call, you can pick up the handset, press the answer soft key. You can also press the speakerphone button if you wish to answer the phone on speakerphone. To end the call, you would simply hang up the handset, Press the speakerphone button, however you are initiating that call. Calls on hold. To place a call on hold, when you're on the call, you can either press the hold soft key below the screen, or you could press the physical hold button left of the dial pad below the voicemail button. Here shows an image of where that hold button is, right below your voicemail button there. This image depicts what placing a call and hold looks like as well as resuming it. So if Jane Smith is calling in and you wish to place Jane Smith on hold, you would press the hold button here, which is essentially the physical button below the screen on your phone. And then to resume it, you would press the resume soft key below the screen, or you could actually press the hold physical button on the phone itself again to resume that call. Transferring calls. By default, 
The phones are set to consolidative transfer. What that means is that will display your call ID to the transfer recipient and it also allows the user who is transferring the call to talk to the other user they wish to transfer the call to uh, prior to initiating the transfer itself. The other option which you can change within the menu is the blind transfer. Uh, it does the complete opposite in which it hides your call ID and it also does not uh, allow you to talk to that end user prior to transferring the call. To transfer a call, when you're on the call, press the transfer soft key or the physical transfer button left of the dial pad. You would then dial the desired destination, whether that be an extension or a full 10 digit number. If it's just an extension number, you will have to press the send a soft key to initiate the call. Once you hear that ring back sound, you can end the call to complete the transfer, or you could stay on the call if you wish to speak to the person prior to transferring the call to them. This image shows where the transfer button is, and it's directly above the messages button or your voicemail button. Do not disturb. If you wish for all calls to go straight to your voicemail when your extension is dialed, you would essentially activate Do Not Disturb. That way your phone will not ring at all and it will just send calls directly to your voicemail. To initiate this, you will press the home button on your phone to access your main menu. You will navigate to DND and select it to activate it. Below shows an image of when it's not activated and when it is. When it is red, it shows active. To deactivate Do Not Disturb, you will navigate to DND and just select it again to deactivate it. And this image shows what Do Not Disturb looks like in the main menu of the phone. Here you can see the icon where it has DND below it. Select that to activate it, select it again to deactivate it. These phones have the ability to conference in three other callers. When you're on a call, there will be a conference option above a soft key that you will press to initiate the conferencing feature. If you do not see that option, press the More button as it may be listed there. Once you press the conference option, you will dial the second party to initiate the conference with that user. Once the answer, you will press the More button and then conference again to initiate the conference uh, with everyone. If you wish to uh, add another user, you will follow the same steps to initiate an, a conference call with another uh, member. In this image, it shows what an active conference looks like. So when you have successfully initiated a conference call, it will show this active conference display here. If you wish to forward all of your calls that go to your extension uh, directly to another phone number or another extension, uh, you have that ability on these phones and that is called call forwarding. Uh, you can access this option by on the main screen there should be a forward option. Uh, below that is the physical button you will select to initiate the forwarding uh, prompts. Uh, once you press the forward soft key, uh, you would select the desired option within the next menu. Option one is for all calls. Once you select your option, it will ask the desired destination for those calls to be forwarded to in the contact field. You will enter that information there, whether that be a full 10 digit phone number or another extension number. Once you enter that information in the contact field, you will press the enable button uh, to enable the call forwarding. To disable call forwarding, you will follow the same steps, but instead of selecting enable, you will select disable to remove the call forwarding. Voicemail access. So there are several ways to access your voicemail on the 123 net phone system. The simplest way is to press the voicemail button that is uh, physically located on your phone, left of your dial pad. Uh, you are also able to dial star 97 directly on your phone to access your voicemail that way. If you wish to access your voicemail from any 1239 phone that's not yours, you would dial star 98 and follow the prompts to access your specific voicemail box.
To access your voicemail externally, say if you have a 10-digit phone number tied directly to your extension number, you would dial that phone number and wait for it to hit your voicemail prompt. Then you would press star uh, to initiate it going into the voicemail options. If you wish to transfer a call directly to voicemail rather than to an extension and have it ring first, you would simply initiate a normal transfer, but instead of just dialing the extension number, you would dial star extension number as the star initiates the feature of sending it directly to voicemail rather than having it ring and then uh, you know, proceeding with the call normally. Here's an image of the phone layout again, and I just want to show you where the voicemail button is located, which is between the transfer and the hold key buttons. When you do access your voicemail menu, uh, initially these are going to be your options uh, for the voicemail itself. Now you have your normal options here, such as play the message, repeat, delete, etc. Uh, but your main mailbox options are going to be in option zero. Uh, that is where you'll edit your custom recording for your unavailable message. Um, if you wish to have something custom there, that's where you would uh, essentially perform that action. To view recent calls, missed calls, and other types of calls, press the home button on the phone to access the main menu. From there, select directories. Then select Recent Calls, and this will give you a list of all types of calls. This list can also be filtered depending on how you want to view it. 123Net has a cell phone application you can download on your cell phone or your computer. It's available on Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows. With this application, it gives you the ability to dial out as you were from your desk phone. So if you were to dial out, make a call, it would display your work telephone number rather than your personal. From this application, you have the ability to check your voicemail, dial other extensions or phone numbers, and also add favorites, quick contacts, things of that nature. Login information resources will be provided uh, to your IT administrator at the end of this uh, presentation. In this slide shows what the 123Net cell phone application looks like after you have successfully downloaded it and installed it on your device. The image on the left shows what the login prompt looks like and you will be provided credentials from your IT administrator. The image on the right shows what the application looks like after you have logged in successfully. Everything should be good to go if you see green all the way around here. If you see red or any error messages being present, please contact the 123Net support team uh, so they can assist you further. To the right here, you have your chat icon. Here's where you would initiate a chat with another user on the 123Net phone system. Select that and enter the user you wish to chat with to initiate that chat. Below the chat icon is your voicemail icon. Select that to access your voicemail. Over here, you have an option to where you could select the device you wish to use for audio, whether that be a headset or speakers or your laptop speaker and mic. Uh, it's up to you. You could select that device from here and then adjust the volume of that device here. Below that is where you would enter the name or phone number you wish to dial and you would press the green dial soft key here to initiate that call. Now if you have a uh, contact that is uh, entered here in your contact icon, uh, that name or number will populate depending on what you have saved there as you begin typing. It's essentially ease of access for that user. Uh, you can also use the dial pad itself here to initiate a call to an extension or phone number if you wish. Uh, and then press the return key to initiate that call. This icon right here is essentially your favorites. Any contacts that you have listed as favorites will be listed under here. Uh, the icon to the right is your recent calls, missed calls. Basically, all of your listed calls will be here. Select that to view that information. 
You have other preferences at the top here. Feel free to go through them if you feel comfortable and wish to. If you have any issues or questions, uh, once again, contact our 123Net support team so they can assist you further. And that concludes the 123Net basic phone training. If you have any questions, any trouble, you can contact our 24-7 support team at the contact information listed on the slide. Thank you for your time.